This is the original prototype of the high-speed sphere machine. We're building much more beautiful uh, machines at this point in time. But this machine's been in our shop for about 15 years or so and has ground thousands and thousands of spheres, still running like a champ. So the idea behind this is a very rigid head that allows a motion only in the tilting direction, nothing side to side, nothing twisting. Uh, with this machine, what we do is we set up the head so we're going to be as close to horizontal as possible. Uh, and then a real simple system using bungee cords here to hold the heads together. Um, as I load the machine, uh, all the three heads will come up and uh, it will allow the ball to float and uh, not you know, be ejected from the machine because with the spindle speed cranked up higher, you have to have the control. All right, we've got the sphere in the sphere machine and uh, the bungee cords adjusted. So it's not a ridiculous tension, but it holds all the heads in. You can see that they can be moved. Uh, and then what we look for is when we're looking down is that we're roughly centered in, in, you know, with the sphere in between the heads. When we go ahead and turn it on, we'll be able to see how it's rotating and uh, adjust the, uh, the heads. Uh, till we get on ideal rotation. The other thing that we do on our machine is we plumb in a line and we have a little metering valve so when we open it up we can get we can control our drip. Um, you don't want a lot of water. I usually put a little bit of a, um, a stream on it at first to get it everything wet and then we go ahead and turn the machine on. <laughs> Rotation looks pretty good, so we can just let it run there a little bit. Now this is a, uh, a hard uh, agate or petrified wood that we're cutting right now. Um, basically the, the grind time on this, if the preform is a pretty good preform, will be about 10 minutes. Uh, we won't sit through that whole 10 minutes, but uh, uh, basically uh, what we're looking for is as it grinds, it, uh, it's going to start smoothing up and we may be able to take our tension up a little bit uh, to increase the, the grind speed. Uh, but it's grinding pretty good right now. We're getting a good finish on it. Notice that uh, the water drip isn't too fast. We get a really good mud on it, um, and uh, and that way uh, the mud keeps uh, helping the tools uh, stay sharp. If you wash it too much, if you flood it, it washes all the mud off and the abrasive action of the mud, 
uh, doesn't help us. You know, like it, it's not there to help us keep this tool sharp. Um, if we are cutting something that's really hard or has a lot of iron content, we may put a pinch of grit on the coarse cups just to help sharpen them uh, because some of the, the real hard materials make a very, very fine mud that doesn't uh, sharpen the, the tools quite as much. Now you can hear after just a short period of time that we've been running it that uh, the the action the grinding and uh, has really smoothed out a bit uh, we're starting to get round this was a little bit the preform was a little bit off I, I still have a fairly wide band here uh, but it will grind in pretty quick still uh, if I change over and uh, grab a this is a real soft material this is Franklinite um, it's actually kind of fun grinding this stuff You'll see uh, just how fast, uh, just how fast this kind of stuff grinds in. <laughs> that was maybe uh, 30 seconds or so and it's already stopped it's you know bumping a little bit it's kind of into a smooth grind so that's the quick preview of the high speed sphere machine um, when you go and you change your grips we uh, we basically set up our a grinding cup array like this so for each of the sizes we start at the bottom with our coarsest grits and then we go all the way up to the top and that's our 8,000 grit at the top. Now uh, you'll also notice that uh, when you look at our website uh, you'll see that we have two 400 grits. One of the 400s is a metal bond grit here. And the metal bond grit is much much coarser grind than when we go to 400 uh, in, the, in the poly. The poly, the, the metal to the poly is the biggest jump you have in there because a poly cup cuts much, much finer. So that's usually your longest step in the whole grind. Um, you'll see that these are old style cups. These were our originals. Uh, we built these armatures about 15 years ago. This is what we've been using. But all the cups that we have on our, on our site are now the new style armature. And eventually we'll probably change our shop over, but you know, uh, if they work, don't fix it. All right. Um, the other thing that's a feature of the high speed sphere machine that's much nicer on the new ones is the foot treadle. And the foot treadle allows you to put your foot on the foot treadle and open the jaws up so you basically don't have to reset your, your tension every single time like you do in those uh, the, the machines with the springs around the top. Uh, the nice thing about that is you can pull a ball out, check it, and throw something else in really fast and just keep grinding. All right, more to come later.